Scorpios Builder Blog, <laughs> Captain Zach here. And since we just had a big moment on the show where you saw Minotaur hand saw blaze his trophy, you might not know this, but a lot of veteran teams actually have trophy shelves from our matches of stuff we tore up and destroyed on the other robots and got to the point where it's no longer usable. It's customary for the teams to sign it and give you the part they damaged. You damaged. And so I thought we'd take a few minutes today and go over the Scorpio shelf. And uh, we got a surprise box in the mail too. So this is probably my favorite trophy. This is the first trophy I ever got off of a robot from a battle. This is the chain I broke on during our Copperhead fight. It's what turned the fight into our favor. After the fight was over, when the team walked back to the pit, this was just laying on our pit table and we are really grateful to the Copperhead team for that. So my very first souvenir I ever got is a Scorpios piece. <laughs> uh, back in 2019, I was not on the team. I was a sponsor, bought bash parties. And Orion Beach, as he captained Scorpios, this is one of the top plates off the robot that got completely damaged. He went around. So I didn't feel left out, and he got it signed by every single team. And so the first BattleBot souvenir I ever received was a gift from Orion, bringing back something for the sponsor of the bot. Thank you again, Orion. It really did make me feel like I was there. Uh, oh, hi. So there's no mistaking what part these, what robot these parts came from. Nothing else is Hypershock Yellow other than hypershock. So we've had the pleasure of fighting this team not once but twice. Once in season three and then once in the bounty tournament last season. So this part came from season three with the angle grinder, the best fight in the world because of angle grinderness. And this part came from the bounty hypershock. You can see how we put a nice little Scorpio sized tooth in this part right here. So thanks guys for two absolutely fantastic fights. Next up was a chilling opponent, <laughs> Ice Wave. We got to fight him twice. Ah, so we have two souvenirs. Uh, this is from our bounty win when we had to face him as the legendary bot. We actually also have the bounty medallion too. Mm -hmm. uh, he probably wants that back. But another time uh, we did fight him in season three. This is not actually from the season three fight. We let him know we really did want a memento from that, and he gave us a chunk of this. I think it's from his Remars fight with Paul. So, anyway, thank you, Mark. Lovely memories. Don't. Please, please don't. That'll rust. <laughs> so it's not the size of the memento that counts. It's how you use it. <laughs> So this is from our tan this is a gearbox from our tantrum fight in 2019. You can see something smooshed all the gears together and now they don't they're just very happy where they're at. They don't want to go anywhere. So thank you, Aaron. That was a really great fight. We had a lot of fun during it. We really appreciate getting this this little piece of tantrum. And you get mementos from fights you lose too. <laughs> <laughs> so this is from when Bloodsport ripped us in half, but I took a wheel, dang it. <laughs> it's Pac-Man. It's Pac-Man. They use a really soft urethane. My understanding is they use two different types of urethane, a, a softer one on the back and a harder one on the front. And it is always neat to kind of do a little reverse engineering here to see like the pattern they use to engage on the rubber. And, uh, Thank you to the Bloodsport team. Congratulations on that win. You truly did earn it. So you may not realize this, but Scorpios actually did fight Black Dragon in 2019 at the end of season four filming. It's available on the BattleBots uh, YouTube page. So we were using a weird configuration. That is the one time you will see us use Big Bertha and our gigantic blade. And we did so much damage to the Black Dragon frame that when they were taking their robot apart to put in the in the crate for shipping, this just fell right off their frame. And look, they even signed the back of it. Zach, are you a drummer? No, but I did lay down some sick beats. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we have two little things 
from our uppercut fight first this is the pole diana the self-riding pole diana ripped off the side of them and then this season they gave us a bigger surprise this was the wheel we hit a few times that had all the foam spewing out of it see we did do damage we, to them we did do damage and uh to, to oh, look, my that's a lollipop <laughs> to my yo-yo rival Thank you very much for the mementos. I do truly appreciate them. And we have some really good timing for this video. So we just got a special box and it looks like it's from Robert Cohen's. And if you don't know, he's on the Copperhead team and uh, he sent us a little care package. Let's see what's inside. Stickers! Oh my God, stickers! Stickers! There were some stickers. Diet is very excited. Uh, what I'm a little more excited for is we have a new trophy to add to the shelf. And this is the Copperhead wheel we damaged. You can actually see there's blue paint and where the Scorpio's blade tore through the wheel. It, he told me this was just a little too damaged to keep using, but during the tournament they only had a few and they might have gotten pressed hard enough to use it. But now that it's after and they've made more, we got a trophy! And this is really cool to commemorate a great match. So a big thank you to Robert Cohens. And if you haven't done so already, go check out his YouTube channel. He actually has an amazing video about how he cast these wheels himself. And uh, his channel is full of good knowledge and really inventive ways to do robot stuff. Check it out. Links in the description. And stickers. <laughs> next big piece on our trophy shelf is this giant chunk of aluminum. Now, uh, before I had my epic season in season five, my favorite match from season four was when I got to fight Sidewinder. And it was a very gory match. There was a lot of destruction and I ripped this entire panel off the back of his robot. It was the first time I had gotten such a destructive knockout with Scorpios and it was so exhilarating in the moment and every time i hold this i remember it so where are you going <laughs> <laughs> so to the sidewinder team thank you for giving me this piece after the match all right diana stop coddling your favorite part this is awkward nothing's happening zach <laughs> this is fine this is normal so this is probably not probably. This is a memento of my proudest moment as a weapon operator. This is the NPC and the wheel that I rip, helped rip off of Tombstone. So this motor got stalled in one of my weapon to weapon hits. And then this whole chunk just came off in a collision between Tombstone and Scorpios. And Ray and Rick were generous enough to sign it and give it to Zach after season five was finished when they were sure they wouldn't need it anymore and then zach surprised me with it for valentine's day can you think of anything better to get on valentine's day than a piece of tombstone that you ripped off i don't think so so growing up watching the original 90 series i wanted nothing more to be on the show and i specifically wanted to get on the show and fight donald hudson which in season four i finally got to do Granted, I, I lost the match in pretty epic fashion, but it was amazing to face my hero in the top 32 of season four. And Donald, thank you for this part. This was literally me making a childhood dream come true, getting to fight you in the arena. What you got under your blanket there, Zach? Well, our trophy shelf has expanded. <gasps> we just came back from season six. What? Now, obviously, I can't show you what's under the blanket. Look, it's a Scorpio's blanket. Oh, but it's so glorious what's under the blanket. Can you give us a hint? No. <laughs> <laughs> so That's we cool. will have a trophy shelf part two to show you what we got in season six. Is there, is there, is there? Zach, you hear? Good. Zach said not to.